Hey everyone, this is Rishi and I'm really excited to show you our email preference center solution for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Building a marketing cloud email preference center is very time consuming, requires a lot of work. We have something that's out of the box and you have full control drag and drop abilities and it's fully integrated with marketing cloud and we can set up a custom integration if you have a custom setup as well. We've done hundreds of these at this point and we can build a, an integrated Salesforce Marketing Cloud email preference center. It's a real time integration. So as soon as they hit submit or unsubscribe, they're pushed. Uh, and updated in Marketing Cloud and back and forth. It's a really powerful integration as well. I'm going to show you a few things. Uh, first of all, you can use your own domain. So you can use like email.domain.com. It lives on your domain. We also provide the SSL, which is really powerful as well. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. There, we offer custom branding as well, custom fonts, custom colors, custom logo, custom validation even on the, on the JavaScript level. You can use custom CSS. You can add your own favicon. We spend a lot of time uh, including a lot of features to make it look like just like your site. Uh, it's an easy integration. It's seamless. We do this for you as well. We can fully integrate a, a real-time Salesforce Marketing Cloud integration. Uh, we've seen it all at this point, uh, and we're excited about Marketing Cloud, of course. Uh, and we can also integrate with other systems as well, which I'll talk about in, in a minute. But you know, for example, if it needs if data needs to get pushed into a backend database or potentially a Salesforce.com instance, we can do that as well. Uh, a really powerful thing in our future is all drag and drop friendly. So when we we can actually design pages for you guys, so it matches your site, uh, and then you guys can come in at any time. Let's say a, a data extension changes, a list value changes, something changes. You just need to make quick updates on the actual display. You can do that really easily. It's all drag and drop. You can click. It's it's marketer friendly, no IT required, and that's the whole goal of our our email preference solution. Now, the reason why email preference centers are so powerful is because they can reduce unsubscribes by 30%. That is typically the value that we see uh, for most unsubscribe projects that we take on, email preference center projects that we take on. Here's a, a, a very uh, generic example, uh, one that we do quite a bit, where all you're doing is you allow the person to update their email address, and then you show all the lists that they are uh, subscribed to. Now, this is a very simple thing, and the reason why this could just, just this alone can reduce is is maybe you're opting them in into multiple lists and they don't actually want all of them. Maybe they want a very specific list that they want to be a part of or, or a data extension they want to be a part of, and that's it. And instead of giving the option, you know, before with, with the default Marketing Cloud unsubscribe page, it's a master unsubscribe. And in this case, what you can do is they actually see all the different options that they have. And typically, most people don't want everything. They just want one or two things. So this gives them the option. The other benefit is that they see the other things that they that have, they have available. So maybe they're not interested in top news, but maybe they want digital edition. So they, didn't, they probably don't even know that they have those options in front of them. A big e-commerce use case is typically they don't want like feature updates or new product announcements, but they do want the coupons. And that's a big one for e-commerce. All of this is real time. Another big benefit is maybe they just want to update their email address. Uh, it's not just an email address. You could add other custom fields as well. So maybe there's a, a birthday field. Maybe maybe uh, they, you want to edit their birthday, for example. Maybe when they signed up, they just want to put a default one in. But they do want the birthday email, so they have to change that. All of that is possible. You can do unsubscribe all. Everything is editable in our system. So you can even add an unsubscribe button right here to make it easier. On click, you can also opt them out completely, and then they can come to this page and be like, oh, did you make a mistake? Maybe you want to see these other things. So anything is, is flexible here with our Preference Center solution, which is, which is what's so exciting about it. When they do unsubscribe, you can actually offer a survey as well. Um, now, you can have as many survey questions as you want here. We have one here, and that can get pushed into Marketing Cloud that you can also download as a CSV as well and, and export it so you guys can analyze later. That's all possible as well. Now, this also what's what's exciting about this is also doubles as a mini landing page builder. So once you white label the custom domain, so if you have email.domain.com, you get unlimited landing pages that are also integrated into Marketing Cloud. So as soon as they fill this out, it goes into real time Marketing Cloud. Now remember, this is a drag and drop system. This landing page specifically is asking for information, and then when they enter it in, they can get this free download, and you can actually upload that download to our to our CDN, and then what's a one click download offer? Very powerful. You can send this out an email blast. Uh, you can you know show this on your website. It's a great, great marketing friendly landing page builder as well. Now, it doesn't just have to be, again, name and email address. We could push all sorts of data as well. This client in specific, they're using this on the footer of their of their website to be able to get more uh, information from the client. You know, hey, tell us a little bit about the issue that you're having, which is great. Here's another quick example of an email preference center that, I, that I've enjoyed working on. They're like a travel related site or an e-commerce related brand around moving. You can actually pause sending. 
So maybe they're not interested right now, but they are interested on the 31st day. What we do is we put them on an inactive list uh, and then we have a cron job. And then on the 31st day, we put them back on the active list. This is very compelling for people that, yeah, hey, maybe they, they booked a travel and they're excited about travel updates, uh, but then they, maybe they decided not to. Uh, so they maybe want to pause something. Uh, and, and this is a, a really cool, cool one. And, and also we have groupings available as well. So you can pause, you can group different lists together, uh, different. And so you can pause like all the coupon related, maybe you have multiple coupon related emails or multiple order related emails. You could pause those things as well or stop those things as well all at once. I would love to show you guys a demo if you're ever interested. If you, if you are building your own marketing cloud uh, preference center, feel free to also uh, let, let, let us know, send us an email, let us know about this. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out with your own institute. We're, we're just, we love Marketing Cloud and Email Preference Centers. So, uh, you know, whether you use our solution or not, let us know. We'll be happy to help you in whatever capacity. Uh, if you want to see a demo or get in touch with us, just go to digio.com slash marketing dash cloud dash preference center. Uh, we'll also have the link in the description. Uh, excited to speak with you and hope you guys are excited as I am. Thank you.